Good Thursday morning. All righty, we're finished with the Apostles' Creed now. We kind of wrapped it up. We're going to do, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a wrap-up with a little surprise at the end. Okay, so let's go ahead and walk through it. It says, I believe in God, the Father Almighty. So, it, they, remember, they, they said, the believers of the way said, I believe uh, in the Lord God, Jehovah, that he's the creator of heaven and earth. And I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, which meant also that Jesus is also God, that they were one, they were one and the same. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, which also means that God is the Father. Are we following how that went, all these, these things that we learned? And he was born of the Virgin Mary, which was prophecy come true from the book of Isaiah, right? He was suffered under Pontius Pilate, so he was not guilty, but he was persecuted for us. He was crucified, died, and was buried. So he paid the price for our sin unto death. Again, prophecy coming true, which we see in all kinds of different books besides Isaiah where that happened. Then he descended to the dead, or he descended to hell, all right, and preached to those, remember he preached to those in Noah's day, which we found in the book of Peter. And then on the third day, he rose again. The resurrection was seen by just not the, the apostles and those close to him, but by over 500 witnesses. He ascended into heaven. And we saw that in Luke 24, 50 through 51, and also in Acts 1, 9. So if you're taking your notes, make sure that uh, uh, you put little notes there for Acts 1, 9, because we didn't cover that one. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and that's Psalms 110. And if you'll remember, there was a bunch of, a bunch of verses that I gave you on that. And he will come to judge the living and the dead, which is Revelation 20, verses 11 through 15. And then I believe in the Holy Spirit, Luke 12, 10, and so many others, all right? Uh, and then we see, I believe in the Holy Catholic Church. And if you remember, when we saw that and we discovered it, it had nothing to do with the Roman Catholic Church. It had everything to do with the complete, the universal, all denominations, all those who believe as Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. His church, not our church. The communion of the saints. Every believer is a saint, as we remembered. And we need to love the brethren and assemble together. And we learned that, right? Okay? And then the forgiveness of sins, Romans 6.23, which, which said what, if you remember? All sin and fallen short of the glory of God. And then 6.23, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, right? The resurrection of the body, and we studied that in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 14 through 18. And the ever and life everlasting, and we, we as we talked about, there were forty-one scriptures that talked about us having everlasting and eternal life with God. And of course, John three sixteen is probably the most prominent. But we went over all those, and then it finishes up with an amen. And if you remember, amen actually means truth; that it is the truth. So that wraps up the whole thing on our study on Apostles' Creed. And I was saying we have kind of a special surprise, but what I come to find out is this. When I'm trying to learn something, so often if I put it to music, it makes it easier for me to hear uh, or to uh, memorize it and to understand it. So as I do that, I, let me lift up my stand. Let me lift up my stand and grab my guitar. And reveal Colossians 3.16, the prayers, prayer, praise team for Platt Community Church. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the Apostles' Creed one last time together. But we're going to do it in song. I believe in God the Father, Almighty maker of heaven and maker of earth. And in Jesus Christ, His only begotten Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of a virgin Mary. Suffered under Pontius Pilate, he was crucified.
if I dead and buried. I believe what I believe is what makes me what I am. No, I did not make it. No, it is making me. It's the fair truth of God and not the invention of any man. I believe that he who suffered was crucified, buried, and dead. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again. He descended into heaven, where he sits at God's mighty right hand. I believe that he's returning. To judge the quick and the dead of the sons of man. I believe what I believe. I believe, oh, I believe. What makes me what I am. No, I did not make it. No, it is making me. It's the bare truth of God and not the invention of any man. maker of heaven and maker of earth and in Jesus Christ his only begotten son of the Lord I believe in the Holy Spirit one and only church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins I believe in the resurrection Lord, I believe in a life that never ends. I believe what I believe is what makes me what I am. No, I did not make it. No, it is making me. No, I did not make it. No, it is making me. No, I did not make it. No, it is making me. It's the very truth of God and not the invention of any man. I believe it, I believe it. I believe it, I believe it. So anyways, we learned the Apostles' Creed together. And now we know what it is. It was a witnessing tool used, and it's a witnessing tool today to let everyone know what we believe and how we believe and why we believe. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we just thank you so very, very much for this time. We thank you, Lord God, uh, 
to be able to do these words of encouragement and just encourage each other as we do them. We thank you for the Apostles' Creed, how we can use it and refer to it, and we can use it as a, a witnessing guide, a, uh, a, an outline, so to speak, Lord God, to, to help us share with others your love, your grace, your mercy. We thank you, and we praise you in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, end of the week. God bless you all.